Hi friends, welcome back to the channel Learning Literature Online. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss the future updates from this channel. Today, we start lessons on the text introducing literature that for first semester BA English students under University of Calicut. Here we begin with the first module and it is language and its literary nuances. First module of the text is language and literary nuances. What does the word nuance mean? Nuance is the very slightest or minute or small difference in meaning expression or sound of a word. Here in this module, we will discuss some terms and concepts before going to the prescribed text. Okay, the module comprises of two sections. One, the syntax. It is the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language. Here, we will discuss structural and syntactic features of English language and will discuss devices like verb phrases, phrasal verbs, adjuncts, collocations, linkages, and sense groups. The second section is the poetic. Poetic is the special way of saying things and here we will discuss meaning making devices of poetic text like symbols, metaphors and other poetic devices. And the first term we have to know is two types of verb that is transitive and intransitive words. The first concept we have to know is two types of verbs that is transitive and intransitive verbs. You may know what transitive verb is and what intransitive verb is. A transitive verb is a verb that accepts one or more objects to complete its meaning. To complete meaning of the verb, the verb accepts one or more objects to complete its meaning. This verb answer questions what and who. Two types of Transitive verbs are monotransitive verb and ditransitive verb. Monotransitive verb accepts one object and ditransitive verb accepts two objects. Here you can see, I show him. In this verb, you can see one object that is him. And in the dry transitive verb, this is another example, I gave him some money. There is one direct object and one indirect object. That is him and some money. Him is one direct object and some money is another object too. So, this verb accepts two objects. And what is intransitive verb? Intransitive verb does not require a direct object to complete its meaning. Example, she slept well. There is no object. She walked home. Here also, the verb need no object. The words that accompany an intransitive verb answer questions like where, how, when and so on. Here in the example, the verb 
the word that accompany this verb answer the question how she slept well how the word that accompany an intransitive verb answer questions like where how when and and so on while transitive verb answers question what and whom another concepts we have to know before going to chapter is adjunct what is adjunct here in the intransitive verb we have made it clear that the words that accompany intransitive verb answer questions like where how when and this part of the sentence or these clauses or phrases or words that answer the questions like where how when are in grammarian's language adjuncts that is a part of the sentence that is optional a part of sentence that is optional and is at not an object of the verb or structurally dispensable part of a sentence clause or phrase that if removed or discarded will not otherwise affect the remaining part of the sentence will not affect the remaining part of the sentence she slept well well if avoided will not affect the sentence the sentence is complete she slept with the slept itself she slept the sentence is complete she slept well here well is an adjunct he spoke last night here in the sentence he spoke last night last night is an adjunct that is uh, that can be avoided or uh, sentence in the bagam aite optional aito matto olivaakiyal adinte arthathe baadhikkatha allengil mattu sentence inde mattu bagathe baadhikkatha tarathilulla sentence inde bagam aitulla close phrase ennivayana adjuncts ennu parayunnathu sadharana nerathe parnadhu pole words phrases and a, that answer the questions where how and when these are adjuncts and adjuncts are supplementary that can be avoided adu ivaakavunnadhaan not essential anivaryamalla adjuncts are not essential adu anivaryamalla okay next concepts concept we have to know is particles particles are function words that must be associated with another word or phrase to impart meaning that must be associated adu avada undayirikkanam particles are function words ah uh, particles are function words that must be associated with another word or phrase to impart meaning does not have its own lexical definition as it is function word idine adinde edayittulla artham onnu undavilla lexical definition undavilla but it must be there to impart meaning to another word or phrase mattoru word no phrase no artham labikkanam engil idundayirikkanam udaharanathin look up ennadile up up is a particle then next concept we have to know is phrasal verb phrasal verb you may have already familiarized with yeah. a phrasal verb is combination of two or three words from different grammatical categories vyathyasthamayittulla verb adverb agane vyathyasthamayittulla grammatical categories petta rendo mono vaakkalude combination aanu endu phrasal verb okay meaning of a verb may change depending the particles or elements that comes 
after it. Meaning of the verb may change. Meaning of the verb may change depending the particles or elements that comes after it. That is the artham. One or other session of the particles are not the necessary. Elements are not the necessary. It is in the artham. Mithya sapadam. Uda heranathini. Put on. Put in. Put up. Put off. Put out. Put up with. Put on means. Wear. Put on and the line of them. Derikiga and the line. Put in means add or increase. Vardi pikiga, lingal kuti cherko and the lathamane. Put up means construct. Nermikiga and the lathamane. Put off means postpone. Native kuga and the lathamane. Put out means extinguish. Kedithi kalega, ti anakuga and the lathamane. Put up with tolerate. Tolerate it, yeah, <coughs> Okay, the very put itself, the meaning of the way put itself change with particles associated with it. Next concept we have to know is collocation. Collocation is two or more words that often go together. Collocation is two or more words that often goes together that is collocation these combinations just sound right to native english speakers who use them all the time native english speakers ne sambandhichittolam ee combination right aayirikkum and on the other hand other combination may be unnatural and just sound Wrong. Aduk ad matu combination ada samayate wrong item over ke tonum. Uda hernatine ada conventional aerikum. Heavy rain in the barium. Strong rain in the barium. Rain in the note a point collocate in the word a aerikum. Heavy and aerikum. Make the bed in the barium. Do the bed in the barianilia. Okay. These are collocations. <coughs> and Discharged from hospital in the barium. Released from hospital in the barriarilla. Released from prison in the barium. Discharged from prison in the barriarilla. Okay, these are examples of collocation. Other bullet and either barium. Strong tea in the barium. Hmm? Heavy tea in the barriarilla. This <laughs> is usually the word that is called collocation. Next word is collocation. That is another uh, definition is habitual juxtaposition of particular word with another word. Habitat is habitual juxtaposition of a particular word with another word. Okay, it is not by chance. We will discuss the remaining concepts and terms by the next video. Thank you.